Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining in again. Um, we'll wait maybe another 10, 15 seconds, and then we'll, we'll get going again. Okay, so the same as on Wednesday, you'll need some books. So just four books this time. So if you grab four books, so they can be copy books, they can be whatever what you have. Uh, try not to get books that are too heavy. So just kind of small novels would be the easiest or small school books if you have uh, books with school. And if you just grab them real quick, and then we'll, uh, we'll get going and I'll explain everything. Okay, perfect. All right, we'll get going. So first thing we'll do, just sit up so you can see my whole screen. So we'll just do a quick game just to kind of work on your reactions. So the way you're going to move is you're just going to move in a shuffle to so left and right, okay? When I say ship, you've got to move to your left. If I say shore, you've got to move to your right, okay? Now, don't watch me because I'm going to move in the opposite direction. So you have to move to your left and to your right. Okay. So if I say ship, you'll move to your left. If I say shore, you'll move to your right. Okay. So you can get ready. So ready, ship. Okay. And then back to the middle, ship. And back to the middle, shore. Good. And make sure you're moving the correct way. So I'll go over one more time. If I say ship, you'll move to your left. If I say shore, You'll move to your right, okay? One more minute, let's go. Chip, back to the middle. Ship, back to the middle. Shore, back to the middle. Sand, okay, so make sure you follow the cue. Ship, back to the middle. Shore, back to the middle, and stop, okay? We'll give another 15 seconds. We'll go back into our position and we'll shuffle again. So same again, if I say ship, You'll move to your left. If I say shore, you'll move to your right. Okay? Ready? Ship. Back to the middle. Shore. Good. Ship. Shore. Last two. Ship. Shore. And back to the middle. Good. Okay. We'll get our heart rate up a little bit now that we've started moving. So, same as on uh, Monday and on... Wednesday, we'll do some high knees, some jumping jacks, and then some skipping, okay? So you can start with me. There'll be about 15 seconds of each, and then we'll move through the three of them. So first one is going to be high knees. So in three, two, one, go. We'll go for 15 seconds. Good job. Good. We'll go jumping jacks. Good, into skipping. So you pretend you've got a skipping rope. And break. Okay. We gave about 10 seconds. We'll go, we'll do that two more times. Let's close this to get a bit of a better shine off the screen. Okay. So we're ready. Three, two, one, high knees. Nice and high, touch your hands. Good, into our jumping jacks. Good, and last one, just into our skipping. And good, okay. We should be nice and warmed up. What we'll go do today is we'll do a little bit of jumping. So we'll start with that. So again, you need the same amount of space away from the screen. So you can see I'll take maybe one, two, three, four, five steps away from my screen. So five step, steps away from your camera or your phone or your TV, whatever you have it up on. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do two-legged jumps. Now, the only thing we're focusing on when we're landing is we're not making big, loud bangs when we land on the ground. We're making nice, soft, uh, and when we land on the ground, okay? So <clears throat> to start, we're just gonna do four to five jumps. Our feet are together, hands are up, jump, land, jump, land, jump, land, okay? So nice control landing, no big bangs with the ground. I shouldn't be able to hear a 
big tongue. It's a nice landing that's soft and we don't hear it too loud. Okay? So we'll do up and down twice. You can go with me. Four landings just jumping forward. Good. I'm going to walk back. And we'll go again. Good. And walk back. Okay. This time, when you jump, I want you to swing your hands out in front of you. So as you jump, you start with your hands in front, they'll go back, they'll swing, and they'll finish out in front. Okay, so you can watch me. Hands, swing, jump. Hands, swing, jump. Hands out in front, swing, jump. Okay, so we'll try that twice. Swinging my hands as I jump forward. Swing, jump, land. Swing, jump, land. Swing, jump, land. Good, we'll do it one more time. So you ready? Swing, jump, and land. So swing, jump, land. Swing, jump, land. Swing, jump, land. Brilliant. So we'll stay with jumping, except this time we'll use just one leg. So I'm going to start on my right leg. Don't worry about my hands first. Jump and land. And try and land and balance. Now, when you jump, I don't want really big jumps, just small jumps. It might take us four or five jumps to get back up to the screen. Okay, so we can go all with our right leg first. Jump and try and land. Jump, land, jump, land. Good, and we'll walk back. We'll go onto our left leg. Jump, land, jump, land. Now remember, it's a soft landing, not a big thump. Land, land, good. So see if you can stay balanced. This time, we're going to use our hands again. So you'll swing your hands as you jump, and then you'll land with your hands out in front of you. So it'll look like this. I'll be on my right leg, I'll jump, swing, and land, okay? So if we're ready, hands out in front, swing, and land. Swing, land, swing, land. <clears throat> we'll walk back, and we'll go jumping on our left leg. So swing, Land, swing, land, swing, land. Brilliant. Okay. Take our time, get our breath back. Next jump will be a jump to the side. So it'll be kind of a lateral jump. So very similar to my forward jump. And I'll just go across the screen this way. As I jump, I'm going to the side. Jump to the side. Okay. So I'll show you what it looks like first. Jump. Land, jump, land. Got my hands swinging as I jump, land, and then I walk back. Okay, so we'll do it together now, so you can copy me. Just face side onto your screen, and we'll do four to five jumps till we get up to the screen. Brilliant, okay, we'll walk back, we'll face the other way. Now, they're not big jumps. You'll see I'm only going a little bit each time with my jumps. Okay. We'll make it a little bit harder this time. So we'll still do that side on jump, but we'll turn and uh, face the other way. So I'm going to start facing this way. And as I jump, I want to face back over that way when I land. And land. Okay. So I'm facing this way. When I jump, I want to be facing the opposite way when I land. Now use my hands to swing and uh, jump as I land. Okay? Now a couple things that are important. When your feet start, they're pointing forwards. And when you jump and land, they're still pointing forwards. So they don't cross over, they don't get closer together. Okay? So this is a little bit more difficult, but we'll give it a go. Starting off facing this direction, and then a land facing the other direction. And use your hands to swing. Good. Okay, we'll walk back. We'll do it one more time. So I'm going to start facing this direction, and when I land, I'm going to face the other direction. Good. 
Good. Okay, brilliant. Okay, so we'll do just one more. So I'm going to start facing at the screen. I'm going to jump and I'll be facing my back to the screen. So I'll start, jump, land. Now I'll turn and I'll start facing the screen again as I land. Same again. Now they're small jumps. And stop. Okay, so we can try it together. We'll start off by facing the screen. When you jump, you'll be facing away from the screen. Now just jump nice and, nice and easy. And land. And land. And land. And land. Great, okay. It's about 11 minutes done so far, so grab a quick drink and you'll need your books again. So you'll need your four books and we're gonna set up our obstacle course like we did on Wednesday, okay? So I'll set mine up while you're getting a drink so you can see. Just get my four books and I'm just gonna put them out kind of an even distance apart. I might push this back just a Okay. So you might get mom or dad to help just setting up your, your obstacle course. So four books this time. So one more than last time just to give us a bigger obstacle course. And we're going to move through it with our animals, but we're also going to use a couple of different other animals, a couple of different movements as we go through. Okay. So like always, I'll demo it first and then we'll do it as a group. Okay. So the first one, a <laughs> bit more difficult is a push-up walk okay so i'll come up here you'll get into a push-up and see can you move your hands and your legs up the course okay so a little bit more difficult to start but lots of us should be able to try at this stage so i'm up, to, up on my hands on my feet and i'm going to walk over in a push-up position okay so we can do it together we're down and we're going up to the screen and then walking back Make sure you've got plenty of room. Good. Walk back and we'll face the other way. So I'll put my hand, head on this way. So if you're ready, you can go with me and we'll walk. Whoa, good. Okay, so that was obviously a really difficult one. It's good that we got that one done first. So the next ones, you'll all know we've, we've done them on Monday and we've done them on Wednesday. So next one's going to be a duck. It's going to be a duck with, with big wings, okay? So we remember my duck, toe, and knee is what touch the ground. So I've got big wings, and I walk. My knee and my toe move as I walk. Keep my chest up, and I finish up facing at the screen, and then I'll walk back, okay? So we'll do it as a group. And now make sure, keep your balance, you're going slow, and you're weaving in and out of the books. Okay, so big wings, we're ready, we're going. Brilliant, we'll walk back, and we'll do it a second time. Okay, ready to go? Oh, okay, nice and tough. We'll walk back, we'll do a second duck, except this time the duck's gonna put their arms behind their back. So you won't have your arms up, a little bit harder to balance, so make sure you go nice and slow. So you walk with your hands behind your back, okay? So if you're ready, you can do it with me, just hands down by your side or down by your back. You walk. Good, and then we walk back, okay? One more time with this one. Ready, go. Nice and slow, nice and easy steps. Good, and up to the screen, brilliant. Okay, we'll take another bit of a breather. I don't know about you, but I'm getting tired. So next one is going to be a scorpion walk, okay? So I haven't shown you a scorpion walk yet. It's like our bear crawl, except you keep your hips up nice and high in the air. So you walk like this. Keep your hips up really, really high and walk your hands 
along the ground. Okay, so it's not like our bear. Our bear is down real low. Our scorpion has their tail up really high in the air. Okay, so we'll try it as a group. We'll go back to the start. And we'll weave in and out like our scorpion. And then we'll come back up. Okay, so we're ready. We can go. And to the staff. Okay. Now what I want you to do, it's going to challenge you a little bit more. I want you to weave backwards. So you'll be facing the screen and you'll weave backwards in between the books. Okay. So like this. Okay. So we'll do it as a group. I'll start off facing the screen. We're going to weave backwards in between the books. Okay. If you're ready, we can go. Brilliant. If you... If you manage that, that's excellent. That's really, really good. Okay. So the next one is going to be a crab. So we've I've already shown the crab, but I'll go again in a demo. And we'll keep the same as going forwards, facing the screen, and then coming back. Okay. So my crab is my hips are up, and I walk through the books. And when I get up to the top, I'm walking back through the books, okay? So we'll give it a go as a group. And if we're ready, weaving in and out of the books, weaving backwards in and out of the books, okay? So keep your hips up nice and high. And when you're ready, you can go. Try not to hit the books. Try not to go too fast. Good, okay? And now I'm going backwards. Whoa, I just hit the book. Oh, good job. Okay. Next one. Next one is going to be our frog. Okay. So we've got two kinds of frogs that we can do. The frog that walks and the frog that hops. So the first one we'll do is the frog that hops. Okay. So I'll show you again. This is the first one we did. We can use our hands, so your hands go on the ground and kind of lift you, or kind of guide you as you go. So you hop with your hands, okay? But each time I want you to try and stop, get your heels up, so you can hop and stop, hop and stop, okay? So we'll do it as a group. Start back by your last book. You can hop in and out of the books, but don't go too fast. And when you stop, try and keep your chest up and your heels on the ground. Good, okay. We're gonna to, going to try and go backwards now. So same thing, hopping, and trying to go backwards, like our, like our frogs. And we're going back in between the books. Wow, really tough. Okay, we've only got two more animals. So our walking duck now. So our, so our walking frog, our chest is going to be up nice and high, and we're going to lift our feet in our, in our squat position, okay? So what it looks like again, I sit down like my frog, and then I lift my feet as I walk, okay? So we'll, go, we'll, we'll all give it a go. Weave in and out of the books, lifting my legs as I go along, okay? You can have your hands up if you want to give you some balance. Brilliant, okay? Now in this position, we'll try and walk backwards like our frogs, okay? So you have to go slow. Have to be able to scan around you, see where the books are, and keep your balance. Come back to the start. Brilliant, okay. So what we'll do is, I have two more animals to show you, but what we'll do is we'll do a little bit more on our balance just to give us a breather and a little bit of a break. And then we'll go on to the last two animals. So we've got, we've got 10 minutes left. So if you want, just move your books away. You can stack them up. We'll be using them again in a minute. And just put them to the side that they're, they're not in your way. Okay. So we're going to do a little bit on our, on our balance again. So... All I want you to do is we're going to start a little bit more advanced than we did on Monday or Wednesday. We're going to start with our leg up 
and out in front of her body a little bit, okay? So you'll start on one leg, you'll lift it, your knee over your hip, and then out straight, hands out, and we'll see can we balance, okay? I'll go from the side, just so you can see exactly how mine looks, and we'll go in three, two, one, and see can we balance for 30 seconds. Try and avoid jumping up and down on the spot. That's 10 seconds. This is really good. We're nearly up at 20 seconds, 10 seconds left. See, can you keep your balance? And down, good, okay? We'll face the other way and we'll go off our left leg. So I'm gonna lift my knee over my hip, stretch it out, and we're gonna go for 30 seconds. Okay, so we're gonna go in three, two, one, go. And see, can you keep your balance? Remember, you're trying to avoid shaking, you're trying to avoid your knee moving, you're trying to avoid jumping up and down the spot. We're 20 seconds in, 10 left to go. See, can you still keep your balance? Last couple seconds. And down, good, okay? So you've got that far, really, really good balance. We're gonna do another little bit of a balance challenge. We're gonna do a tiny jump and land back and see can we balance, okay? So I'm gonna start on one leg with my leg up. So be up about 90 degrees. So if you want this to be a fun one to get mom or dad to join in with you as well, see can they balance? Your leg will be up. All you're gonna do is a little jump, land, and see can you stay balanced. Now the jump, is a very small jump. Watch it, watch a small eye jump. Just so my foot barely comes off the ground and I land again, okay? And we're just gonna see once we land, can we balance for three seconds, all right? So nice and easy. So I'm on one foot, jump, balance, hold for three seconds. One, two, three, okay? We'll go over to your other foot. Up, a very small jump, can we balance for three seconds? Up, one, two, three. All right. We'll do that a couple more times just to get the hang of it. But obviously you want to land soft. So not a big a heavy landing on your foot. And you want to try and keep your balance so your knee doesn't move too much. All right. So we'll do this off either leg two more times. So start again. Back up on my right leg. A little jump and land. One, two, three. Brilliant. Now I'll show you from the side just so you can see what my hips do. They kind of land over a bit like this. So I jump, land. Okay, so you can crouch over a small bit. One, two, three. All right, brilliant. We'll do it one more time off each leg. Jump, land, and balance. Whoa, I wasn't very good that time. One, two, three, okay? You can even see that I, I stumble down again as well. So on my left leg, jump, land. Whoa, I'm gone. Hope you're doing better than me. One, two, and three. Okay, great job. So we're about 25 minutes in. We've got about four or five minutes left. I'm just gonna show you two more new animals. The first one's gonna be a gorilla. So you'll need all your space that you have, okay? The gorilla is similar to a frog, except we we'll use our arms a lot more. So I'll stay kind of close to the screen so you can see me. I'll start down in my squat position. So we know it's not my feet together. So my feet, just a little bit apart so I can sit down and my chest goes in between my legs. The gorilla takes their arms outside their leg and hops. Outside their leg and hops. So you're bringing your hands outside, lifting up your legs and hopping. Like that, okay? And we'll go forwards and just today we won't do any backwards, all right? So I'll show first what I, what, what I want you to do and then we'll kind of do it as a group. So. So a good bit away from your screen. <coughs> Gorilla starts down, hands out the side, up, and land. And when you, when you finish in this position, just hold here for a second, just so you don't lose your balance, okay? Up again, keep your balance. Up again, keep your balance. Up again, keep your balance, okay? So you'll see how slow I did it. Make, see, see, can you do it the same speed? I don't even hop in really, really fast yet, okay? We'll get, them, we'll get how it should be first. And then we can go a little bit faster. Okay, so you're ready. We're gonna go up, walk back, and then we'll take a little break. So I'll squat down. You can go with me now. So ready? So 
So you can make gorilla sounds, moving back and forth, lifting your hips. Good. And land. Brilliant. Okay. We'll walk back. We'll do it one more time. Same again. I'll go from the other side. So I'll start pushing off the other side. And we'll zigzag our way back up to the screen. So I'll sit down like my gorilla. Hands outside. Hop and move. Hop and move. Hop and move. Good. Hop and move. Hop and move. Good. Okay. So... We have looked at, I'll name all the animals that we've looked at over the last three days. We've looked at a duck, two ducks. We've looked at a crab, a bear, a frog, a bunny, a gorilla, and a scorpion. Okay, so we've looked at lots of different animals. I'm going to give you a little challenge at home now. I want you to move up and down, but every second step or jump, I want you to change the animal. Okay, so I'll, I'll kind of give you an example first. So I might start down here. I might start hopping like a frog, then I might walk like a duck, then I might walk like a bear, then I might walk backwards like a bear, then I might hop like a bunny, then I might hop like a gorilla, then I might walk like a scorpion, okay? So you get to play around with all the animals that you've learned. We've learned loads of animals this week so far. So I want you to move up and down, and I'll do it as well, up and down for the next minute, um, any direction you want to go, just make sure you've plenty of space and just choose a different animal after each two jumps or two hops or two walks. Okay, so ready? We can start together. Any two, any animal, and just keep changing animals. See so if you can remember how they all move. So I'm going to start with a bear. I'm going to go into a gorilla. I'm going to a bunny rabbit. Good. I'm going to go into a duck. I'm going to go into a backwards bear. I'll go into a scorpion. Good. I'll go into a backwards frog. And I'll finish off with a duck with big wings coming back up to the screen. Great job. Okay. So just to recap, thanks for everyone for, for staying on for for the session. I hope it was tough. I know I found it tough. Um, we just go back over. So we just said jumping and landing off both legs, both going forwards and with some turns. We went through all our animals again in our obstacle course. So on Monday next week, we're going to start off straight with our animals again. And you should be really, really up to scratch on your animals. We practice them over the weekend, getting mom and dad to practice them with you as well. And then we did a little bit more on balance. Okay, so thanks a million guys. Thanks for, for tuning in and we'll see you again hopefully next Monday.